guys, it is Chelsea Corinne, and it is another video in the Will It Popsicle series that I'm doing. And I'm filming these all in one day, so my hair and makeup aren't gonna change. I will change my shirt. Bella, hi Bella, get down Bella. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm gonna be doing a bunch of videos, testing out different weird things, and if it'll make a good popsicle. Now, a while ago, last year, I tried out pickle popsicles, and they were terrible. I like pickles, not popsicle. I have now done a Chef Boyardee like SpaghettiOs and variant of SpaghettiOs. Now we are going to do canned fish. But I gotta show you this shirt because it's like one of my favorite shirts I own. It says, I love Jesus, but I cuss a little. The most accurate shirt about me ever. Anyway, so we are going to test out these canned fish and see if it'll make good popsicles. I mean, I love fish. I'm a big fish person. I love tuna. But um, I don't think it's going to make a good popsicle, but we're going to try it anyway. If you want to see how gross this is and you want to watch me torture myself, well, keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Cat Country. Hit the notification bell. Comment down below other weird things I should try to popsicle. And also, I post videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday here on Cat Country's YouTube channel. So make sure you're subscribed because I try a lot of very weird things. But without further ado, let's get started. Making popsicles out of canned fish. Ooh. We are going to start off with, let's do the baby clams. Now, I love clams. I think they're delicious. I love some like linguine with clam sauce on it. And it doesn't smell fishy, it smells very salty. But I'm gonna scoop some clams in it and then I'm gonna go ahead and, let me move all this other fish. We don't really need to look at it just yet. Um, I'm gonna scoop it in and then we're gonna use a funnel to get some of the liquid in, but we're gonna, ooh. All right, so you're like, that's delicious. I like clam. These are cooked. No stupid question. They'd be like me because they're so salty though. So salty. Okay, let's put some of these in here. We're gonna like really fill it up and then fill in the rest with like the liquid. Beautiful. Oh God, it looks so gross though. Oh no. All right, stick this in. All right, now we're gonna go in with some tuna. I got some chicken of the sea, and I'm gonna do the same concept. I'm gonna scoop some tuna in there and then funnel in some of the liquid so that we have the liquid to freeze. So let's get some of this tuna in here. I love tuna, and I eat tuna like I'll just drain it and you need it right out of the can. I absolutely love tuna. I eat tuna like a few times a week. All right, so I got quite a bit of tuna in there. Let's add some liquid before I run out of room. Hold that back, come on. I should have kept the lid, because now I gotta press it in with my hand. Oh, okay, that looks like honestly just vomit. Like these look like popsicles made out of vomit. But we're gonna do it. I also got some smoked flavored salmon fillets in oil. They have a recipe on here for a salmon barbecue pita pizza melt. That actually sounds delightful. This actually smells really good. Like, this is cooked too, right? I can eat this. This smells delightful. I love salmon. Let's get some salmon pieces. I'm just gonna go in with my fingers. We've given up. We already are gonna smell like fish. We might as well just go the whole mile. This is, smells so good though. I don't know if I should be wanting to like it, but it smells delightful. All right, pour some of this oil in there. Doesn't this look appetizing? Don't you want these? Oh. All right, and last but not least, we've got our sardines, also in oil. <sighs> this is gonna be terrible. They also have sardines in tomato sauce. I've actually, don't, I don't think I've ever had a sardine. I've had like herring, like my grandfather used to have cream of herring, which is delightful. It's in like, oh, oh, <laughs> they got the skin on it still. Um, but cream of herring is herring in um, like a cream sauce. I used to put it on like crackers and stuff and that's good. I just gotta pick it up. Oh, there's bones in it though. Oh, oh, it's just falling apart in my hand. There's skin on it. There is skin on it. This is gross. We're just gonna, oh, pop that sucker in. I really only need like one sardine. This is so big. It's really freaking me out the most. Like not that I've had never had fish with skin on it, but like, I feel like oh, I could definitely fit more in there though. <laughs> um, but just seeing it, oh God. 
I know I'm making really weird noises, but I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear what I hear, but it's disgusting. Okay, so we fit another one in there. Lord have mercy on my soul. This is clearly not the way food should be intended to be eaten. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. All right, well now that we have got that, that's gross, but it's got like some shine. Oh, no. I don't know which one that was, but now it's all over me. It's all over my pants, down my arm. Oh God, but anyway, yeah, so wish me luck. I'm gonna put these in the freezer and I'll see you back here in a couple of hours. I'm gonna throw up. So we are actually day two on this because none of the pops are completely frozen. Uh, by the time nighttime hit and I wanted to film to try these out, but it's okay. We let them freeze overnight and we have our canned fish popsicles. Oh God. This is the one that I'm most afraid of and I'm most afraid I'm going to throw up on. I have a bucket or a bowl. I've got some orange juice to, to rinse with. I'm probably going to need more, but it's okay. And these were actually the ones that were, I noticed freezing the, the hardest. And I think it's because they're very salty. So I'm very curious to see if they, and oily, I'm curious if they've completely frozen and I'm able to like pull them out. I did rinse with some warm water just so that um, they can pull out a little bit better. But we're going to go in with the, I don't know which one was going to be the least worst. I'm going in with the salmon. I don't know why. Oh. Oh. Oh God, that made the grossest noise in the world. It also looks gross. Like it's just chunky. The can salmon popsicle. I just touched my tongue on it and I already hate it. Okay, so why this one's not that terrible is the fish didn't freeze. So it just feels like very cold, the smoked salmon, which I actually tried um, after I filmed the video. I was like, oh, this isn't that bad. So this was a good starting off point because it's not terrible because the salmon's still really soft. I also took like a very little bite because we're not messing around today. We're only going to take little bites. Let's go in with the clams next. Oh, the sounds that these are making are priceless. This one's more solid because there's a lot of liquid in it. So I was actually surprised this one froze at all because it was very salty water, but it just looks so gross. Like, there's just something, it's just very like scientific. It looks like something in a museum of like showing like prehistoric clams frozen in time. That's what it reminds me of. I'm leaning over the bucket. Ugh. So like the, ugh. like the salmon, the clams aren't like solid, but the texture of them with, ooh, that's gross. Oh God. Um, with them and the, like the frozenness is just really, it's just weird. Again, it doesn't taste bad because I like clams and it's not bad. I was eating them earlier in the video, but it's just not good frozen. We're going to go with the tuna next, mainly because I'm terrified for the sardines. Ooh, that came out easily. Here we go. Tuna pop. Oh. Oh no. Because tuna is a very dry, like it's very dry in a can. I mean, there's more, but like the fish, you know what I'm saying? Like when you eat tuna, it's not like a, oh, this is such like a, 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 a moist fish or juicy. Um, the dryness of that makes it so much worse than I thought it could be. That was just, okay. Okay, moving on. We're just gonna keep it moving, moving on. We're going to the last but not least, the sardine. Oh. That didn't work. So the sardines clearly didn't want to stay on their little popsicle stick. So I did bring a spoon just in case. I think this makes this worse. Ew. Ew. That's a lot. We're, let's be real. We're not, we're not eating that much. 
And this does have skin and bones, which I eat anchovies, but ooh, it smells like anchovies. It's just pure salty fish. Here we go, frozen and sardines because we couldn't get it in a popsicle form. Here we go. No, I don't wanna do this. Oh, oh, no. Oh, I'm sucking my teeth now. Oh no. It's again, it's the, I like all of these foods, but then you, the texture and then the ice and then the ice crunches and then, and then it's just really confusing and not the way you're supposed to eat these foods. And I understand that. And I get that's the point of this video is to make these as pretty much terrible as possible to make me cringe. And that's what I'm doing and I get it, but oh God, that was weird. This is, I regret my life decisions sometimes. And these are those moments. If you wanna see myself torture, or you wanna see me torture myself uh, over and over again, subscribe, hit the notification bell because I'm gonna be doing a whole series of popsicle videos. So you could see me making awful popsicles and trying them out. Uh, comment down below other awful popsicles I should try and like the video. And I will see you back here again next time when I try another awful thing. Oh, God.